Welcome back everyone. So today I want to talk about the Jeffrey Epstein case kind of in general because I want to cover a couple of points. Him, Jeffrey, Glenn Maxwell, and Prince Andrew. So we'll start with Prince Andrew because he's kind of the funny one, kind of the lighter one. So recently I saw an article that he was, well he's being sued by Virginia Guffrey, the woman in that now, you know, kind of infamous picture with him and Glenn Maxwell and then Virginia Guffrey. I'll put it on the screen for you guys. And uh, she's suing him in New York court and now he is being asked to prove that he couldn't sweat. Okay? Because in an interview with the BBC that he did in back in, I don't know, 2018, 2019, it was one of the first things I covered on this channel. He told a reporter that he couldn't sweat. Because I'll, I'll read it back for you because I kind of wrote down their interaction. She was like, she recalls this night very vividly because she recalls dancing with you. She recalls you sweating profusely. And then he's like, wait, that couldn't have been me because I can't sweat. And then he started talking about the Falkland War, you know, and something about adrenaline and some kind of injury uh, that he suffered in the Falklands War. And, you know, it just kind of spirals from there. It was a terrible interview. Obviously, he was hoping that this interview would make him look better. Obviously, it just made him look like a total idiot. But now he's being asked to prove that he, at some point or, you know, whenever, couldn't sweat. I don't know how you prove that. You know, I've heard of hyperhidrosis, which is where you sweat too much, but I've never heard of you not being able to sweat. But I'm sure it is a thing. But I would really doubt that Prince Andrew, at some point, couldn't sweat. So, that excuse will, uh has finally come back to bite him in the ass. I've always thought that was just the dumbest excuse. I can't sweat. As he's like, you know, sweating bullets in this interview. Um, anyways, moving on from that, I also want to talk about Ghislaine Maxwell. She was convicted on five out of the six counts that she was being tried for of sex trafficking. So that's interesting. As far as sentencing goes, uh, it's saying that she's Facing up to 65 years in prison, I don't think that she's going to get 65 years in prison. I don't think that anyone's expecting her to get 65 years in prison. But, you know, she is kind of old. She's in her 50s, right? 60s maybe? I don't know. But anyways, I mean, she could be looking at a lengthy stay in prison. And I don't know how healthy she is, obviously. And obviously, she's going from... A lavish, lavish lifestyle to, you know, prison conditions. So, that's great. That's really punishment for her in particular. Not for everyone else. But, anyways, the big part of this video is the Jeffrey Epstein death. I realized that I never talked about this. I haven't really mentioned it, to be honest. Obviously, we all know how Jeffrey Epstein died and the controversy surrounding that. Obviously, he died in a New York jail cell. Uh, I'm not going to say the word because it will demonetize this video if I say how he died. But some people think that he didn't do it himself. That, you know, someone was sent, you know, that he was like, you know, assassinated essentially, uh, you know, to keep his mouth shut. Uh, but that's not really what I think happened. I really think that it pretty much happened how they say it did, in my opinion. I think that these jails in New York are really, really understaffed. A lot of places are understaffed these days, but in particular, correctional facilities are understaffed because it's not really a wanted job. You know, not it's not really, you know, it's not like, I want to grow up and be a correctional officer. You know, it's not like astronaut, you know. Where there's like six spots on the International Space Station, you know, but there's like thousands of spots in the correctional facilities. Um, yeah. Anyways, yeah. They're understaffed. And, you know, Jeffrey got put on S Watch, but S Watch isn't that good when you don't have enough people to watch all of the prisoners. 
So I would imagine that that combined with the fact that he was facing, you know, the rest of his life in prison and, you know, again, just like Ghislaine Maxwell going from lavish lifestyle conditions, you know, billionaire lifestyle conditions to, you know, now understaffed, underfed, you know, cockroach infested New York jail cell, uh, you know, maybe you take an easy way out. Okay. So that's what I'm thinking happened. You know, I really don't think there was any huge conspiracy or anything like that. There's nothing that leads me to believe that there was a huge conspiracy. The coroner's report has indicated that he died through self-strangulation. And until something else comes out otherwise, I am of the belief that Jeffrey Epstein killed himself. So I did want to share my opinion on that as well as kind of make fun of Prince Andrew and his whole, you know, can't sweat thing, which was just a terrible excuse. And also during the interview with Prince Andrew, there is a scene, or there's not a scene, it's an interview, but there's a part where they're showing that picture of him, Ghislaine Maxwell, and Virginia Guffrey. And she's like, that's not me. And it's very clearly him, you know, he's got the same chin, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's him. It's like, that's not you. And it's like, I got, that's not me. It's like, that's you. It just made him look like a total idiot. It really made him look worse than he was before. And I don't know why they let him do that. You know, I really feel bad for the queen. You know, to be honest, that's who I feel bad for. The queen, you know, she's like 90 something. And she's got this idiot idiot son just going around saying that he can't sweat you know on live television and making himself look like a moron pervert you know so it's like she's trying to live out her years in peace you know but she's got prince andrew going on the bbc acting like an idiot in front of everyone in the world Trying to explain away, you know, his relationship with Jeffrey Epstein. You know, we were just buddies, you know. Just like to hang out. You know, we like to play Pokemon or something. I don't know. It's like, come on, everyone knows what you're up to. Just shut up and go away. Uh, but anyways, I don't know. Thanks for watching. These are, I don't know why people watch these anyways. Uh, thanks for watching.